Students at uh, Hialeah Elementary School will get quite a surprise when they return to the classroom this Monday. A major renovation that's part of a major bond initiative passed by Miami-Dade voters. CBS 4's Ruta Bay Shabazi shows you what you, they can expect when they go back to school. Students at Hialeah Elementary School are in for a pleasant surprise when they head back to the classroom Monday. This is going to be a totally different new experience for them. Lining the exterior of the 1940s building, new energy efficient windows and quieter, more efficient air conditioning units. Once the most burdensome maintenance problem for the school. They turn on when you walk in the classroom and they turn off when you walk out. So having that also is going um, to help to make them efficient and not break down. There are new handicap accessible bathrooms, a renovated clinic, and new paint, ceilings, flooring, and lighting throughout. These interactive learning boards allow students to work with tablets to keep up with technological advances. It's going to affect them getting into better schools. And that's something that we, you know, we want to make sure that we are at par, above, above board, tip of the, tip of the sword when it comes to all that technology. The $1.2 million in improvements at the school are thanks to voters who approved a general application bond back in 2012. It's like when you walk into, a, you know, an old home and having it come through a renovation, everything that's new is nice, it's fresh, um, it's exciting. Assistant Superintendent Raul Perez says these improvements have been needed for more than a decade and should sustain the school for the next 50 years. There are also structural improvements that you can't see, like major electrical upgrades, fire alarm system repairs, and piping. My message to parents is uh, we are working, we are improving the learning environment for your children. The district says every single school in Miami-Dade will get a piece of the $1.2 billion in bond money in the near future. Rudabay Shabazi, CBS 4 News.